Hello once again, my people, it is I, Veed, and welcome back to Danganronpa. Last episode, Celeste was fucking executed, um, because, uh, Hifumi murdered Taka, and then Celeste murdered Hifumi. Uh, it was a great time. <laughs> it was great. Uh, and then we are, uh, going into our daily lives. Yazihiro was talking about how his burger got abducted. You know, it was funny. It was great. Uh, so now... We're just gonna have to explore the school a little bit more. So, let's go ahead and get this started. Alright, so where are we going? We are, yes, leaving the area. Hello, how are you? Um, so I'm only assuming that because... Oh, I found out why my uh, laptop was getting so laggy a few episodes ago. It was because I didn't have my laptop plugged in. Like, the stupid idiot that I am. So, I'm only assuming that it's gonna have to just be a, like a few floors up right i'm only assuming here we go hello hello my darling my darling there is and then where are this the 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 stairs to go up where are those hello hello <laughs> Um, they don't look like- oh, here they are. Hi. Alright. So now we have access to the fourth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some type of clue. No, this time I have to find it. Alright, let's go ahead and start moving around. Ooh, maybe there's like a hidden storage in this bathroom. Who knows? Um. Nope. Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Literally nothing. Alright, um... This is looking... Ominous. Let's start with this side for- oh! Data lab. Why is it locked?! <laughs> no good. The door is locked. I guess I won't be getting in here. According to the nameplate, this is called a data center. But what's behind the door is a total mystery. Alright, that's fun. Uh, there's some more classrooms over here. Is there anything in this little hallway? Well, I mean, besides this room here. Uh, music. Like a music room? Hello! Oh! This is my life! This stage is my life! This is the music room. It's hardly even a classroom, it's more like an actual concert hall. Hi, Kyoko! Oh. Okay, I guess I'm clicking in the piano. Is this a grand piano? It seems really old, but I guess it's worth a lot of money. Of course, without someone around who can play it, it's totally useless. Bam! Hello! Give me some more of those coins, sister. Uh, is that a monitor? Yeah, that's totally a monitor. What's on this side? Nothing. So it's just, uh, motherfucking Kyoko Kirigiri. Hello! You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think so... about the secret room of the boys' bathroom. Uh, well, um, I did find something in the secret room, but as soon as I started to look around, I was attacked. What? Attacked? By who? Well, they came from behind. I mean, I didn't have any time to react, so I didn't see who it was. And when I came to, the mountains of files and documents were all gone. I'm sorry. I know how important those were. That's fine. It's okay. I already saw what I needed to in there. And I half suspected the mess of my mind come after you. What? Because... When I discovered the room, the mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the mastermind actually knew about that room. It would seem... But to attack you and steal everything in the room... That must meant there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the Mastermind's identity. Then, you knew I was gonna get attacked? That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing though, right? After all, you're a boy. What does she think a boy is? Fine. I, I understand. Then, let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said, you must not leave? Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that now. Not here. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance camera. So... 
I'm looking into it. And if I find out anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So then. So, now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? Hmm. Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding something. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Oh my god. That's... Yikes. <laughs> Hi, Sakura. What? What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Uh, well... Hey. We're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right that there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but... There's nothing worse than expressing doubt over your friends when you don't have any- if you don't have evidence for it. She's my friend, so I'll go tell her! I haven't found some conclusive evidence yet. If I talk about it now, it's just gonna make things much worse. Friends couldn't cheat secrets, but- There's- Okay, so I can't tell her. Sorry. I can't tell you. Not yet. Correct. So, that's your answer. However... But you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I have to say, but now you're unwilling to share? I'm sorry, I really am. That's fine. It's fine. Goodbye. Bye. Oh my god. With those as her parting words, Kyoko left me standing there alone. I think I made her mad. Fuck, I mean, yeah, that's right that we don't have any, like, conclusive evidence, but, like, damn. Alright, I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to leave. Alright. Like, yes, there is no conclusive evidence that, like... They're actually, you know, a spy, but whatever. It's fine. One day I, s one day I saw Monokuma in class. Why is it a picture of- Why is it a picture of me? Hey, Yasuhiro. Mm. I'm glad this floor got opened up and all, but like, there's like a ton of locked rooms up here. Okay. Well, I guess that's- Right, okay, what about here? 4B? Hell- Oh wait, hold on. Hello! I'm Monokuma from the school store! I'm very kind- Uh, I'm very kind gather up your coins and come play with me, or I might die from loneliness. Peek! Oh my god, Monokuma. I mean, it's all still the same, there's still locked like, there's still locked windows. Um, okay, so instead of going farther down that way, let's go down this way. The office? Well, what's in here? Whoa! Oh, that's a picture! Hello? This is the office. But of course, there's no hint of any teachers that we'd normally be able to rely on. Well, let's go ahead and just go one by one. There's a flower on the desk. Somehow it makes things feel that much weirder. It's always good to just investigate. Hello? There's a flower on the desk sometimes. Okay. Now I'm just gathering Monokuma coins, I guess. Is there- <laughs> Yeah, it's just gonna be a Monokuma coin hunt. Oh my god. Alright. Because that picture is, like, the last thing I want to grab. Man, this is, like, Monokuma hunting ground. Fuck. Is there anything farther this way? Um. Yeah, that's the surveillance camera, so I guess I'm going to pick up the picture. Huh? There's a picture on the floor. This picture. What? Oh, this is just like the picture of fucking Mondo, Leon, and uh, Chihiro. Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka? The smiling faces of three people who are dead now. A classroom without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. It's just like the picture I saw before. There's no way this is, isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way that you'd expect any normal teenager to smile. Just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe that they're able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. So does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? Oh my god. Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they- Oh my god. Got here! Including Sayaka? 
No, there's no way. Monokuma did it. It must be fake. <laughs> You're fake. Monokuma popped out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. A forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? Uh, you think the moon landing was fake too? Come on! Then you're saying this picture is real? Hey, um... If there was such a thing as a Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place. Who would take third then? Too bad. Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question. Is this picture real or is it fake? Hmm. Oh, Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? Hey, um... But it's no use. Oh, it's just no use. If you try to split something that you can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's true. The picture is real. No more, no less. <laughs> Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real? It's really real? If that's true, if that's the case. Alright, well, I'm all in done in here then. So then. Further down this way is Headmaster. The nameplate on the door says Headmaster's Room. The Headmaster's Room. There must be something worthwhile in there. And it's also locked! What the fuck? Huh. The door's locked. Damn it. Alright. Well, time to figure out where else to go. Oh, is that another classroom? Oh my god, it is another class. Oh, nope. This is 4B. I've already been in here. Whoops. My bad. My bad. Oh my god, it's my beyond. I'm enjoying a drink. Alright, then further down this way is chem. So like a chemistry lab? I'm only assuming. Yeah, a chemistry lab. Inside the room, the smell of medicine was oppressive. So this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't do permanent damage. Alright, so before I talk to each and every one of you, it's a remarkably big shelf, and it's stocked with all kinds of medicine. Ah, right. uh, listen, Makoto, listen! Just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me! Uh, okay, Kina, just chill out. There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine, and what? They even have protein zyme X? What's that? A high-quality protein drink. It's nothing like that cheap swill in their warehouse. It's connoisseur level. Uh, oh yeah? <sighs> this is amazing. It's a gold mine. Oh, my prayers have finally been answered. Time to load up on some more prayers then. A gold mine, huh? I've already taken a good look at things around here. There's a lot. There's a lot to think about. But for now, I should head back to the dining hall and talk to the others. All right, we got some tea to spill, sister. Not too long after I got to the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. And after a few minutes... Hmm. So, is this everyone? Well, then. Okay, let's discuss what we all discovered. Hmm. Yeah, good idea. Alright, let's start with Aoi Asahina! Yeah. There was a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor, and it holds all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Okay. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. You should at least go and take a peek. I highly recommend it. I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. Mm. Oh, but it's not all good stuff, though. There was a medicine and health stuff, but on the bottom, but on top of that, um... there was also um, a bunch of different poisons. P poison? Mm. They were all labeled clearly, though, so it would ha so it'd be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. Still, we'd better make sure we're careful around there. Um... And we probably shouldn't tell Byaki or Toko about the poison, right? Huh? What do you mean? Well... well, just in case, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, um... Just in case. Y yeah, I think you're right. However... It's Byaki. I won't be long before he's discovered it for himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open? That's absolutely the work of the mastermind. Alright, Yasuhiro, what you got? Hmm. I found a couple rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and the headmaster's room. Uh. The headmaster's room? That sounds like exactly the kind of place where we find some clues. If we can somehow unlock the door and get inside. But... Who cares about a stupid lock? It should be no problem with the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. Yeah. What was that? Whoa! Hmm. 
No, please, continue. Did you just say I've got the nicest butt on the block? The curviest hips in town, is that what you said? What the heck? Hell no, I didn't. Hey. Then what uh -huh. did you say? Because I know you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. <laughs> uh, knocking down your headmaster's door? What kind of war on education are you trying to start here? That's my room, you know. It is now, anyway. And you're thinking of busting it down? You seriously don't want to piss me off. You have any idea how much bacteria lives on a single bear claw? Uh, um... uh, no, I was just kidding. Please, I'm mad. I'm not mad. Oh, well. You're totally mad. Ooh, uh... I was hoping I wouldn't have to add this a rules for this, but if you're gonna go around having those thoughts, I have no choice but to add the school regulations. Seriously? Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There, that's a rule now, you jerks. The new rule had been added to the regulations menu. Uh, is he gone? Ugh, man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he was gonna kill me for serious. But if he would get out of the way to make up a rule like that. There's no doubt that someone, something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room. But, now that it's a rule, there's nothing we can do. Oh wait, or is that with me speaking? There's nothing that we can do. Kyoko Kirigiri! Um, Kyoko? She's ignoring me. So, um... Hey, Makoto. Does Kyoko seem upset to you? She is, isn't she? She's totally mad! Y yeah, it looks like it. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Ugh, this is bad. Where else? Oh, Sakura. Huh. Metal sheets have been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budge an inch. In other words, just like everywhere else. Hmm. Escape the fourth floor seems escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. Hmm. So has everyone said what they needed to say? Hmm. I think so. But it looks like nobody found any clues at all, let alone a way out of here. I haven't been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone do something to cheer me up. Um, can I say something? How about that? It's because my dad was smoking in bed. <laughs> oh my god, that's a hero. That's, no. I have something I'd like to report. So you guys all remember, right? You remember what I found the picture on the third floor the other day? You mean the one that showed Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon all together, right? Huh? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one. Another picture, almost just like that one. Huh? Another one? But this time, the picture was of Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka. Huh? huh? And they were all smiling. And the classroom of the picture didn't have any metal covering to the windows. <sighs> so the picture of Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found one that had Celeste, Tifumi, and Sayaka? But... But... How can that... Conspiracy. Monokuma must have faked it! But if the picture is real... Then everyone who was in it... They would have had some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. What? Can't be, it's a fake! Well... Monokuma did say it was real. But then again, it is Monokuma. I don't know. So I'm a little bit tipsy. <gasps> but Monokuma said it was real. I know we could just write that off as a lie, but... So then. then you trust Monokuma's word over the people who have died? Huh? Because... That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, that's not it. I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refuse to do the same. Th that's not... What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? I don't understand why she's so angry. Hey, come on. Uh, come on, guys, stop fighting. For all you good uh for all of your good luck, it's gonna fly away. Float away. You'll float too. <laughs> anyway, Makoto, you're thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake that picture. Of course. He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. Uh, you, you might be right, but still. Are you still so conflicted? What? It looks like you've all stopped playing nice. Byakuya? 
<laughs> you all have the same sucking look on your faces. You were all so ugly before. You shouldn't let them sink any lower. Hmm. When I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of manure. You know? Sorry. Just a second. Why are you apologizing? What the heck? Leave us alone. You're not a part of this. That's right. That's true enough. Your problems aren't mine. We are, and always will be, completely separate. So, whatever is causing your faces to turn so ugly has nothing has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if I happen to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Huh? Did he finally just say something useful? Hey. Byakia, what have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. Such I was in the bath. Why else would you have to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath? Is he saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? Maybe we should all go take a bath. Mm. Ah, good idea. Mm. A mixed bath? Okay. A mixed bath? If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. Okay, sis, well, like, time to go see what Alter Ego has done for us. I need to hurry up. Oh, whoops. This is not the dressing room. That's the laundry. Oops, my bad. Here we go. That one. That one. That's the one I need. Oh my god, this light is so bright now. Oh. When I got to the dressing room, Toko was sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come here what Alter, Alter Ego has to say too? What's your problem? Uh, I, I already heard it. With Master. <laughs> with Master? <laughs> you don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, so what are you doing here now? <laughs> Shut up. Stop bothering me. How about that? Get out of the way! We have to talk to Alter Ego! Well. No, I made Master a promise. A promise? <laughs> Master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. Huh? What are you, his dog? <laughs> if, if it's <laughs> what Master wants, I'll do anything he asks. Yeah. You just love being mistreated. Well, fine, if you really want me to be gone, but by all means. Toko Fukawa is a fucking messy slut. <laughs> like, I just want to let that be known, that she is a messy slut. Oh. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, we'd like you to move. Sure thing, just kneel before me and beg. First a mega masochist, now a super sadist? Okay, well, t t genocide. Um, Toko. Seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let us use the laptop. Hmm? <laughs> Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg! Come on, Makoto, give her the old one two combo. One, drop to your knees. Two, Bashir. Why are you acting like you're not part of this? I was as desperate as I fell. Finally, I did kneel down in front of her and I said, Please, I'm begging you. Will you please let us use the laptop? <laughs> Me too, bitch. Such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness. Oh, my pent up anger at Master for abusing me is evaporating. So even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let's t let us talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> okay! Yes, thank you. Everyone, come closer. I already told Byakuya, but I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Come okay. On. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. Uh, um... I'm starting to get kind of nervous. Okay, I felt the same way. Resting on the keyboard, my hands started to shake. Just a second. Move. The single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded, I moved to let her take over. So then... Here we go. Kyoko began typing, the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Leave it to me. Sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particular uh, important fact I discovered was that there is a certain plan hidden uh, had been put into effect here. To isolate the students from Hope Speak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan. But it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. Th that's... I see. It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? 
And what's more, the one who came up to the plan was none other than the administrators of Hope's Peak themselves. What? Wait, hold on. Then the reason we've been imprisoned here? It wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever? No it was the school itself? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Officer Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. That's it seems the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What does that mean? What? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of de devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, wow. Hope Speak Academy was forced to discontinu uh, discontinue its role as the school and close down. I see. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is, one year ago, this thing, this tragedy, took place. And whatever it was, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. They planned to sequester the students here, where they would live out the rest of their lives. Okay, so the school was like, hey, no, shut the fuck up, you're living here forever. But then where does Monokuma take place? Because I don't think Monokuma is part of the school. At least I don't think so. But why would Hope's Peak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? Hey. And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Kyoko had typed their questions into the computer. And the answer we got was... Sorry. Sorry. I don't know. If that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. And that's all he said. What? Then, is that- is really the end? We get halfway through the answer and that's it? Indeed. It would appear so. Disappointing. Oh, wait! No. There is one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has something to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? Kyoko's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? Sorry. No. That I still don't know, but I did find a clue, I think. The one leading the Hope's Peak staff is the one who finalized a plan to isolate you, was the Hope's Peak headmaster. So the same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late thirties. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. The headmaster? Oh, I've not seen this before, Kyoko Kiri Giri, what do you know? I have not seen this sprite before. The headmaster is here in the school. Okay. Then that's got to be the mastermind. I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. We're serious. But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? Bye. I'll find a way. Oh! Yo, she got a blue tint up in this bitch. <laughs> I'm not okay with that, Kyoko. What the fuck do you know? What? What? Hello? Huh? huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. So, um... Kyoko, what's going on? I... I can't explain why, I just know that I have to find him. She has to? Kyoko, what's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then. We should go see if Alter Ego has any more information. That's, uh, that seemed to be our attempt to regain her composure, and she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry. That's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all that I can do from here. Sorry. I'm really sorry. <sighs> then, it really is all over. Hey. Wait, Alter Ego seems to have more to say. So, um... um, well... It's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. Um, I haven't seen Celeste, Hifumi, or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was a flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. They're all dead. Huh? What? Um, I see. Certainly I knew that was a possibility, but... Okay, then. It really happened. Sorry. Oh, sorry. 
There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway. Well then, I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. then maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kind of tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. With that, the laptop entered sleep mode. I see. So Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have time to talk to him about all that much anymore. But... But I kind of feel sorry for him. But... You feel sorry? But he's just a computer program, right? Well... I know, but still. He did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. I mean, yeah, it did, but that's what a computer program is designed to do. You don't tell a computer good job every time you shut it down, do you? Hmm. Well, no. But when we talked to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Hey. Hey, come on. It's just a program. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? But you know, what's the difference between us and that program, really? Huh? Huh? I started thinking about how would you how you would differentiate a person from an AI. Alter Ego isn't human, I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's right! Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> then there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends the merrier, right? How about that? Check this out! Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives value to survival! So... So anyways... Don't so anyway that! It's a total smart and cool thing that I quoted from I don't even remember where! Hey. Anyway, there's nothing more Alter Ego could do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who is and isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? Wait. The story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um... Yeah, good idea. What was the Hope Speak staff thinking? What? Why are they making us kill each other? Hmm. Alter Ego said that what happened over uh, that happened one year ago is what started everything. Well... Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? Um, it. Must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like that really happen a year ago? Um, I don't remember anything happening that you could describe that way. What about you guys? <laughs> I don't really watch the news, so... I'm sorry. Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway... That event led to the closing of Hope's Peak. Very least. If nothing else, it must have had some kind of connection to the school. <laughs> Maybe all the students here were killed or something? Uh. However, that kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. Then, maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us knew that the school had been shut down. I see. Totally covering up something like that. I suppose it's not totally impossible. What What's wrong with their government? Our taxes paid their salaries? They should be handling stuff like that. Anyway. Maybe. But right now, there's only one path open to us. So... We have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Correct. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what? As long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko. When she said headmaster, I got that feeling again. Well. But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. So then. Well, our business is done here. So for now, we should get out of here. Uh, um... Oh yeah, good idea. Yeah. Then I... <laughs> huh? Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean... Oh, oh no, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not guarding it. Miyaki is gonna be so mad at me. Let's avoid getting involved any further. Good call. Was we left to... 
Okay, well, you know what? Instead of that, I am going to go ahead. It's getting a little bit long, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the episode there. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Um, my name is Veed. I hope you had a wonderful time watching this. I hope you had a wonderful time watching us get to talk with Alter Ego, having, like, the school, apparently, this whole entire school itself, locking us in here. But I think there's something a little bit deeper going on. I don't know. It's probably just, like, a feeling of mine. Make sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe button down below. You know, have a full YouTuber out. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss up on any of my uploads. And I will see you in the next episode. <sighs> Goodbye!